everyone. Uh, yesterday, I wrote an article called Just Build the Ark on my blog. And then immediately after, I went to YouTube and I watched this video, Visiting Gucci in Florence, the restaurant and museum. And it's by the Chateau Diaries, which is like a... It's a YouTube show I watch. And uh, um, anyway... The first thing that struck me was the menu uh, has the all-seeing eye on it. I mean, obviously Gucci is in the know. They're totally controlled. But uh, there's more. So here's the menu. And then inside you've got pine cones for your pineal gland. And then you've got here comes the sun and the birth of Venus are front and center in this menu okay so what happened after that was even more astounding like I said my blog post was called just build the ark and this exhibit is an ark oh you really fit in with the cruise 2019 campaign actually thank you it's all good <laughs> It was all based on the idea of a group of beautiful young people having to prepare for the flood and building an ark. They're definitely all wearing their Sunday best from Gucci. In fact, this is very you, but if I can imagine you wearing these outfits if you needed to build an ark one day. It's the La Land way to prepare for the flood. It's so beautiful. And perfect for a cruise campaign. So, if you didn't believe before that the the screen or the TV talks to you and synchronicities are real. Um, hopefully this is enough to convince you. And even beyond this point, there were some interesting points in this video that I wanted to show you. Um, she's sitting in a restaurant that is green. Green is heart chakra. She's wearing green, heart chakra. Heart chakra is Venus. This is the museum, and they're walking into, uh, obviously this is glitter, but this is like a hall of mirrors. See, hall of mirrors. And then there's a wall of butterflies. And on the other side here, are stuffed animals like this is the ark and perhaps the shoes represent the people and the wall of clocks as it like time is running out So on this wall here are all the stuffed animals and the one that stands out to me is the peacock and when you know it they end up pointing out the peacock. Now the peacock is significant because it essentially is the same thing as the phoenix. The peacock represents the multiple eyes or the gateway into the unseen realm. Uh, much like the phoenix does. Phoenix representing the crimson and the purple, which are the colors that are not visible on the light spectrum within this reality. So it's the gateway into the unseen realm. This room has a black and white checkered floor. There's a heart here. Mickey Mouse for your 33 mm. Leo the lion, the heart, Leo the, the king, Corona. More shells for Venus. And then she goes into this uh, room here with this mural and there's, it's very Salvador Dali, but it has a lot of symbolism in it. I mean, I can't even begin to pick it all out. Half of it, I don't even know what it's supposed to mean. 
but there's um, apple symbolism here, twins, I possibly representing Adam and Eve, twins, and then this angelic type being holding up an apple that's glowing, um, and then you've got a, a serpent here, you have a mermaid in the water, animals with two heads, Oh, just as an aside, <laughs> I was talking with a friend of mine about how the first time I had wine uh, was when I was in Florence, and this was just like a couple of days ago, and I described where I had my first glass of wine, and it was literally in this piazza. There's, I believe it was this restaurant here. It had a, a patio that came out and uh, I had my first glass of wine on the, on the piazza, on the patio. I find it strange that a couple days later she makes a video from this very same piazza. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so like, this is very, very weird, but I think by far the, the most bizarre coincidence or synchronicity is the arc. The Ark is definitely a symbol that the flood is coming. And by flood, I don't mean literal flood. It means that the truth is going to be revealed very soon and people are going to be panicking, freaking out, and we have to be ready for it. We have to be the calm in the storm because it is happening now. Hope you're doing well. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.